Okay, so when I'm not around, Danny gets a lot of work done, but no filming. So he pulled a string from the back across. And this is going to be our porch post. He's got one set. This is a corner post. You see the string goes down. He's fixing to set the back corner post. And he just poured water in it so it'll settle. He's got concrete in it. You need me to hold it? And that is the way you set a corner post for a house or a porch with a tractor and a fork when you're one man. As long as we don't touch it.
Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. guys we're here at the cabin uh, we're gonna have a change of plans we were working on the roof in the back and the chimney and trying to get all that taken care of but because of the massive flooding uh, no, no water problems with the cabin uh, our potatoes out here uh, have got to come out they're, the, the sun's killing them now they're, they're they may blister on us we may lose some of them so what we've decided to do, we have this room right here on the porch that we were going to frame in and make a, an extra room out of. We're, we're letting that rest on the roof right now. We're going to go ahead and put all the floor joists in on this room, try to get the plywood down on the floor, get the walls up, the plywood on the outside of it, so that uh, and one end of it we're just going to leave open here for air up under the porch. And we're going to put a tarp down and we're going to spread all of our potatoes in here. Uh, instead of putting them in our dining room at the house, because that's not really a place for them. They'll do better here until we have time to let them cure and be able to get them all canned. So that's our plans at the cabin here right now. We are going to let the porch rest, chimney rest, inside work rest, focus on this room, getting it framed in so we can get these potatoes out of the field. Um, so. All right, guys, as you can see, we have our layout on the uh, wall over here on the sills. This is a layout for our floor joists. We put them over on 16 inch centers. We have them on this side and we have them on the side that we're facing here.
guys. We have got the uh, floor joists all in. We got our plywood down. Now we use three quarter tongue and groove OSD instead of the regular three quarter inch plywood because I've learned with the other plywood a lot of times it comes apart. The OSD, I've never had a problem with it. Um, what we've done, once we got that down, we put our bottom plates on, we put our top plates. Uh, we just did a standard 16 inch on center wall. Did the same thing over here, bottom plate, top plate, done the 16 inch on center. Went back with the uh, half inch OSB over it. Once we done that, we come back with the house wrap and put over it and then we cut our window out just like we normally did when we was building the cabin. We peel the uh, house wrap on the inside, tacked it off. I put all the uh, window tape on. I window taped the bottom of the seals like we always do. I window taped around the window to seal it off completely. We got that done and then I take them and I went ahead and run the cornice work out here to a certain point and got the soffit in. Uh, we haven't got a fascia board up yet, but we're going to be getting that pretty soon. We're just trying to get it where nothing can get up in here. We'll be doing the soffit down through here next, getting that closed in so that we've got this thing kind of airtight on the outside, I guess you might say. And then I've got one wall left to go on the inside by the porch. Okay, now guys, we, all we lack is this one wall going right across here, studding it up, putting it in there. And then we'll cut a doorway out right there and come from the inside of the cabin into this room here. But right now, the reason we went ahead and jumped on this, like we told you in the beginning, was we're needing somewhere to store our Irish potatoes at. And this is a perfect place. We're going to leave this wall off so the air can flow through here. And we've got uh, some plastic down on the floor. We're going to be putting the potatoes on top of that. And as we can them, we're going to be coming over here and getting them. It's just a good place. It's out of the sun. There's some airflow up under here. Uh, they're not being able to be exposed to direct sunlight where they turn green. So it's just a good place to dry them at. And that's our plan right here is to utilize this for this particular period of time to get this done. We didn't have our porch finished on around or we would have put them on the porch. But this little room right here looks like it's going to turn out to be a pretty good deal for us. Okay, guys, it's time to put the steps on the cabin. We're tired of climbing up in and out of it. Uh, I'm one of these kind of people. I don't like steep steps. I like the steps that are very comfortable. Most people just put two tuba sixes up here and let that be it. I don't like that. I like a long, wide step. So what I've done is I've done a 15-inch run, and my uh, boards will hang over out here. That way, if I want to come back and put a three-quarter inch board in here to uh, fill in front on the, on the uh, risers, I can do that. I'm going to leave those off right now just simply because I've left these up off the ground three inches because I want to pour a concrete pad out here in front of this, and I want to be able to pour concrete up under it and let it set in concrete. Um, that way, I don't ever have to worry about it moving. And plus, we're considering putting posts on each side for a little short handrail or something if we need it. So that when we get older, we won't have to worry about narrow steps, no handrails or anything like that. Even though the porch is not going to have any handrails on it, we want handrails on the steps for getting up and down in here. Plus visitors or whatever, we'd like to have that taken care of. And what we're going to do, because it's a six foot wide span, I'm going to put two more uh, stringers here in the middle and that way the steps will be plenty sturdy should we uh, you know over the years you just want to make sure your steps are good and sturdy I hate to see steps that are spongy or anything like that so that'll give us four stringers across here and I think four stringers will be plenty uh, for the two by sixes when we get through with it but we're gonna go ahead and cut the other stringers out and See if we can't get them installed, and then we'll start putting the floorboards down on it.
guys. We have got the steps in now. Uh, like I told you, we was going to do the three steps wide up and down here. It's a, still a standard seven inch uh, tread, which is very comfortable walk. But I like the wider part down here. You have more foot room to put your feet on it. Uh, I left it so we could come back and put the, uh, uh, the riser in there. Uh, later, I'm not doing it right this minute because I gotta have this where I can get up under here. I'm gonna pour concrete around the post in a few minutes. I got a bag of it here to put around the post and get them set, and then we'll frame a big square out here and a sidewalk going on out, and we'll pour all of this in one pour and let it run up under here where these can sit on it, and uh, that way everything will be finished and we'll have a nice entrance into the cabin. We'll come back. On these posts here, we'll cut them off at an angle, and we'll put the, put a handrail up on it it's on both sides here, so that uh, you know people's got something to hold on to. And we'll, I mean, guys, it's coming together for us. Uh, we got to thinking at our age, if we stepped off and twisted an ankle or something other like that, that would be bad for us, um, especially in the middle of what we're doing here with the cabin. We don't want any accidents or anything, so. We decided it'd be better to go ahead and do this. And then once we put the wall up in here, we'll put the step there under at the door. That'll be taken care of, and we'll be ready to just start putting the flooring on here and getting our cabin finished up on the outside, because that is our goal this summer, is to get the outside of the cabin completed. And then in the cooler months, we'll work on the insides. So thank you guys from Deep South Homestead. And step, look. Look. Exercise. I like my steps. Hey guys, we've gotten this far with the porch and we've had to stop when we get here. Um, we've got our continual girders to go in here. Our floor joists are going to go all the way across this. But this 
every one of these will not continue long all the way across here. They'll start cutting on an angle across here so that we have a V pattern coming down through the ports right here. But I had to get to this point before I could start doing this side over here because I needed to know what the angle was right here as to how far to let that board come here because I want all of my porch boards to end up at exactly the same point on both sides. So now that I'm here, I know where to start these at on this side over here um, so I can begin to put that side on and I will use all my scrap for in here because these will always be getting shorter and shorter as they go out. I don't want to use up all my good stuff cutting up short angle pieces when I can use my scrap for this because I can find good pieces to do the porch out of on this and I'll save my good stuff to go on across the porch here with. So that's where we're at on the porch today guys. Um, I'm going to continue putting my floor joists in over here getting them laid out and we will, we got a little bit of lumber left. We'll put a few boards over here. Now that we're to this point, uh, Ms. Wanda has been on me for about a month and a half now to go get her chair that she wants to go on the porch here. It's a log looking rocking chair. And I keep telling her, no, 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 we're not going to get it because we don't have the porch yet. Well, she's already informed me that since I've got this much of it done, the time has come to go get her rocking chairs. Okay, doesn't that look awesome? Eventually, it's going to go further back when we get this last piece. It's going to go back toward the back. But for now, what do you think of that? Isn't that a fine rocker? Danny and I both can sit here.